What's going on you guys? This is Tom from My Valley Woodworks. I'm going to show you how I make custom engraved tumblers. I make them perfectly every single time. Now I'm a part-time woodworker and as a side hustle with my laser, I like to make tumblers because why not? I already have the X-Tool S1 laser along with this rotary attachment that attaches to tumblers. Like so. Now I'm able to get a personalized name and logo exactly 180 degrees today from each other. I'm gonna show you how I do that. Now, the first thing you gotta do before you make any tumbler is you obviously have to get the laser, get this rotary attachment, but make sure you built a jig. Make life easy for yourself. As a quick reference, here's an overhead look how my jig looks. You just put this at the base of your laser every single time like, like so. That way you're ready to plug this in, ready to roll, start engraving. Make sure you drill a little keyhole for your little tightening grip for the arm. Place it back so you don't lose it. Just wanna note this little handle here, this is a 45 degree grip, so I can pull my jig out at any time when I'm finished using it. It makes life a lot easier. Now I'm gonna show you how to put the jig in your laser. First thing you're gonna want is the riser base accessory. If you don't have that, you're not gonna be able to do this with the uh, S1, fortunately. Yeah, anyways, take your jig after you built it, Open the lid so you can see. Slide it in. There you have it. Now the jig's in place. It's not going anywhere. That means you know every single time that you put your rotary arm in here, you don't have to know whether or not it's at a 90 degree because you've already built it. It'd be the exact same every single time. There you go. It is seriously that easy. Put my tumbler in here. Tighten with the key. Push that out of the way. Then you want to spin it and make sure there's no wobble. Make sure it's perfectly level. There we go. You're ready to engrave, just like that. Now I'm going to show you how to make a logo with the personalized name on the exact opposite 180 degree sides. You're going to want to use a lid as a reference. Make a mark right on the lip. On the opposite side, make another mark. You can use tape as well. And after doing so, place the tumbler back in the rotary arm. Okay, step one, you see that I have the infrared crosshairs there lined up exactly with my line. I'm hoping that during the framing section, they stop right here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm taking it over here to the Creative Space software. And basically what I have is, I have this line right here and this line right here set as the output. Everything else, it's not, nothing's happening, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to framing right here. And what I'm hoping for is that when I press this framing button, the, the infrared line will line up with the other line on this tumbler. And it's pretty darn close. It was maybe like a quarter of an inch off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this whole section up just a hair. So once again, this is the output and that is the output. Nothing else is being output. Okay, so let's do framing one more time and see if we get any closer. So yeah, we are just pretty much right there. So now what I do, I highlight all of this, make sure the output is off. I take my logo, place it in the center where I want it, take the name. There you go, it is centered. It is literally that easy to get your tumblers perfectly engraved opposite sides of each other. If you like making tumblers like I do, having a logo and a personalized name on the opposite sides of each other, and this information helped you out a lot, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. That'd help me out big time. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.